The Instant Preview is the new rendering engine in Krita 3. Krita will give you a preview of your brush strokes and other drawing operations on the canvas and in the meantime it's going to make heavy calculations in the background. This works in conjunction with your zoom level. If I zoom far away from my picture, you can see that I can brush in strokes very fast, but while Krita is calculating the stroke, you can see that the image is going to be all blurry in case I zoom in. This is exactly what it does. It just gives you a preview of all sorts of things. So this works with brush strokes, but this also works with filters. We haven't covered them yet in the training, but we're going to get to them at some point. And this version brings a major performance improvement in that area too. This also works with animation, by the way. You can toggle the instant preview on or off by pressing the Shift L key combination. You can see the little widget that appears in the top left of your interface. This corresponds to this option in the view menu, the fourth one. You might be wondering why would you ever want to do that? Well, it's going to make Krita slower, but in some instances this can be useful. The reason is, as the engine gives you a preview of your stroke, the preview is not always going to be accurate with really heavy random parameters on your brush presets. If I take this as an example, I move far away from the image. And you can see that once the calculation is done, the final result is different from the preview. So this only happens with random brushes and any brush engine that would be random in nature. And this doesn't always happen. In my experience, I haven't had to disable the instant preview once. But I know that with the Color Smudge Brush Engine, for instance, you can see that sometimes the preview is a bit light compared to the final stroke, especially if you are looking at your document from very far. If you have a brush preset that's especially random or that doesn't work with the instant preview, you can also use that little checkbox at the bottom of the brush editor. This is going to toggle Instant Preview off for that brush preset only. And this is going to be saved with the preset. You can see that if I switch to another preset, this is checked. And this is unchecked for the preset I just overwrote. So I'm going to toggle it back. I told you that the engine works with the brush tool as well as with the filters, basically the most important filters in here, you will get a preview of your blur or of the common ones like HSV, HSL adjustment. But not only, it's also going to work with the generic drawing tools. I don't know if you've tried them, but some more geometric drawing tools with, with the Bezier curve and all that stuff. And not only that, it also works with the move tool. So the move tool, you press the T key, it allows you to translate your layers. And if I move in on my layer, you can see that it's a bit slow. Well, it used to be just as slow if you would zoom out on your picture. But now it's really fluid if you are zoomed out. Last but not least, we are going to troubleshoot the most common issue with the instant preview. You have to go to the settings and then to configure Krita. And in case the instant preview doesn't work, you have to check in the display category. OpenGL has to be on. And if you don't have the high quality filtering option, this means that your graphics card doesn't support OpenGL 3, which is required for this engine to work. So if that isn't the case, I'm sorry, you will have to change your computer or your graphics cards to get the new rendering engine in Krita.